the fourth estate, something that's crucial to keep power in check. But as the consolidated corporate media machine continues to marginalize the voice of the people... Most of them are radical leftists. They hate capitalism, want to burn it, put the system down. Or distort the truth. Yes, the bank bailouts made money for American taxpayers right now to the tune of $10 billion, anticipated that it will be $20 billion. And I'm going to be addressing the Bilderberg scum. Citizen journalists and independent press outlets have picked up the slack. Instead of just complaining and begging them to cover important issues like the Bilderberg Group, uh, citizen journalists just had enough and they were like, well, if they're not going to do it, we're going to do it. Luke is the one-man band of independent media who has built a custom rig for live streaming and video recording. Was able to put together in order to provide the best coverage I could possibly do. Coverage often watched by thousands. However, police are making it increasingly difficult for journalists to report the ground truth, especially since the start of Occupy Wall Street. Independent journalists who are considered outside of the U.S. corporate media are arrested on no charges whatsoever. This guy just assaulted me. Can you please do something? Officer, can you stop that man? They're singled out, they say, for providing raw and unfiltered video footage of police action. I've watched uh, the, the NYPD arrest people for streaming, just specifically target them in the crowd or point them out. Some have been intimidated. Uh, they didn't give us an explanation to why they're stopping us. We had Homeland Security target me and many other We Are Change chapters. During our NATO coverage, we had guns pulled on us. Scott Campbell, citizen journalist from Occupy Oakland, was shot with a beanbag round simply for filming a police line. Oh! 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 It was sent, it was, it was done to send a message and also possibly because I was out there with a the camera filming them and we all know that the police uh, have a strong aversion to being filmed. So why the fear of citizens keeping a check on authority? Citizen journalists and, and independent journalists have at their disposal to be able to counter the spin put out by City Hall, put out by the police department, and put out by the mainstream and corporate media. The establishment is scrambling to stay relevant in a new media world, but they're fighting a losing battle. According to polls, the majority of Americans don't trust the mainstream media to provide them with accurate and unbiased reporting. Many see these networks as driven by corporate interests and dominated by their financial backers. If truth-telling and power-challenging are not the most profitable thing, then that becomes the sole um, jurisdiction of non-corporate media, people who aren't specifically focused, you know, not-for-profit not media, citizen reporting, live streamers, things like that. But with no corporate sponsors, these dissident journalists pose a threat to the system. They can bring the power back to individuals and to the people by telling the truth, and that could be dangerous for the establishment. As technology develops, it will be increasingly difficult for the mainstream media to maintain control over the flow of information to the American people. No longer will history be written by the winners. It will just be documented as it is. A scary thought for the powers that be. Abby Martin, RT, Washington.